What if I told you that the weeds you've been pulling from your garden could become the most powerful fertilizer you've ever used? Welcome to the fascinating world of fermented plant juice, or FPJ as it's known in Korean natural farming circles. This ancient technique transforms what most gardeners consider waste into liquid gold that will revolutionize how you feed your plants and soil. Korean natural farming has been perfecting sustainable agriculture practices for centuries, and FPJ represents one of their most ingenious innovations. This fermentation process doesn't just create fertilizer, it creates a living, breathing ecosystem in a jar. The fermentation breaks down plant materials into readily available nutrients while cultivating beneficial microorganisms that your soil absolutely craves. Think of it as creating a probiotic drink for your garden packed with enzymes, amino acids, and micronutrients that commercial fertilizers simply cannot replicate. The beauty of FPJ lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. Unlike synthetic fertilizers that provide a quick nutrient hit followed by a crash, fermented plant juice delivers sustained nourishment while building soil health over time. The fermentation process pre-digests nutrients, making them immediately available to your plants while feeding the beneficial bacteria and fungi that create thriving soil ecosystems. The secret to exceptional FPJ starts with selecting the right plants, and here's where your weed problem becomes your greatest asset. Fast-growing plants like comfrey, plantain, dandelion, and nettle are absolute powerhouses for FPJ production. These plants are nutrient accumulators, meaning they've already done the hard work of extracting minerals from deep in the soil and concentrating them in their tissues. So, comfrey really deserves a special mention as the king of FPJ materials. Its deep taproot, you know, actually pulls potassium, phosphorus, and all sorts of trace minerals from depths your crop plants just can't reach. Plantain, on the other hand, brings natural antimicrobial properties and is packed with silica, which helps strengthen plant cell walls. And then there are dandelions. They contribute iron, calcium, and potassium, plus their bitter compounds help stimulate beneficial soil microbes. The key here is harvesting these plants early in the morning when their nutrient content is at its highest and preferably before they flower. Young, tender growth ferments a lot more effectively than mature, woody stems. Always harvest from clean areas, away from roads or contaminated soil, and never ever use plants that have been treated with pesticides or herbicides. Creating FPJ is, honestly, surprisingly straightforward, but timing and technique really do make all the difference. Start by chopping your fresh plant materials into small pieces, just to increase the surface area for fermentation. Fill a clean glass jar about two-thirds full with these plant pieces, then add brown sugar at a ratio of roughly one part sugar to three parts plant material by weight. The sugar isn't just food for fermentation. It actually acts as a natural preservative and helps extract nutrients from the plant cells. Alright, so now you'll want to cover the mixture with clean water, leaving about two inches of headspace for the fermentation bubbles. Next, just cover it with a loose lid or cloth. This lets gases escape while still keeping any contaminants out. And then, place your jar in a warm dark location where the temperatures stay between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit for optimal fermentation activity. Within 24 to 48 hours, you'll notice bubbling as fermentation begins. This is your cue that beneficial microorganisms are hard at work breaking down the plant materials. The mixture will develop a pleasantly sour, slightly alcoholic smell. Think of it as the aroma of healthy fermentation. But if you detect any putrid or rotten odors, something has gone wrong, and you'll need to start fresh. After 7 to 10 days of active fermentation, your FPJ is ready for harvest. Go ahead and strain the liquid through cheesecloth or a fine mesh strainer, pressing the plant matter to extract every drop of nutrient-rich juice. The resulting liquid should be golden to amber in color, with a tangy, fermented aroma that's actually quite pleasant. So this concentrated FPJ is incredibly potent and honestly it must be diluted before you use it. The standard dilution ratio is 1 to 100, that's 1 tablespoon of FPJ per gallon of water for soil applications, or 1 to 500 for foliar feeding. This might seem like a tiny amount, but remember, 
you're working with a concentrated biological powerhouse that delivers nutrients and beneficial microbes with every drop. Apply diluted FPJ as a soil drench around your plants every two weeks during the growing season. The timing is crucial. Early morning or late evening applications prevent the beneficial microbes from being damaged by UV light. You can also use it as a foliar spray but always test on a small area first and avoid spraying during the heat of the day. Store your concentrated FPJ in the refrigerator where it will remain viable for up to six months. Always use non-metal containers and utensils throughout the process, as metals can interfere with fermentation and damage beneficial microorganisms. Keep detailed notes about which plants you used and how your garden responds. This information becomes invaluable for refining your technique. The magic of FPJ extends beyond nutrition. Regular applications improve soil structure, increase water retention, and boost your plant's natural resistance to pests and diseases. You're not just feeding your plants, you're building a resilient garden ecosystem that becomes more productive and self-sustaining with each application. Transform your garden waste into this powerful elixir and watch as your plants respond with vigorous growth-improved flavor and remarkable resilience. Remember to subscribe to Smart Garden for more sustainable gardening secrets and share this guide with fellow gardeners who are ready to discover the transformative power of fermented plant juice.